Update 15 might bring a massive wave of deflation to Pet Simulator 99's economy, and here is why. While this update is absolutely insane with huge nerfs to almost all of the free to play huges that we have in the game, two clan perks that cost over 70 billion diamonds, as well as a brand new clan battle, all of these things will come together to affect how the economy moves. And on top of all of this, you guys are going to want to hear about some of these changes that are not included in the dev blog because there are quite a few. And some of these changes will most likely be the bigger ones in this update. So sit back, relax, and let's go over update 15 in Pet Simulator 99. All right, you guys. So first of all, we're going to go through the dev blog and point out some of the bigger changes that are in here. Hopefully we don't spend too much time going through this. But as you guys know, we already have the hacker world in the game. So nothing too crazy here. One thing to note is that it does tell us to keep an eye out for four mysterious mini zones. Now, if you go in game, you'll notice that there's these four islands all around the map. Now, currently through testing, I have not found a way that you can get to these four mini islands. So I don't know if these are the four mysterious zones that they were talking about. We're definitely gonna have to wait and see because I don't know what they would even include on these islands that would be so crazy. So we're gonna have to wait about that. Keep in mind, this is different than the five major zones that have all of the breakables that we've already gone through. Definitely interested to see what four mysterious mini zones mean and what we can expect from that. Along with that, we have all of these new pets. Remember, I told you in that video yesterday, we have a ton of new pets coming into the game, as well as that five new huge pets. So obviously this first one, the Empyrean Dragon is gonna be for the clan battle. The second one is gonna be from the hacker chest that we'll go over in a second. It's also included in the hacker pack. And then we have the huge mask fox, which is in the hacker pack. So, and then finally we have the two huges from the new exclusive egg. So we did expect to see more than five huges, but still five huges is pretty crazy. So next up, we actually have this hacker chest, which is gonna be a major focal point of this update because the new clan battle requires you to get as many of these hacker keys as possible and when you get these keys you can basically open this chest and get a chance at one of those new huges so you get a chance at the new huge hacker axolot from the chest now currently the keys to unlock this chest actually are untradeable so you can only get these keys from grinding for yourself you also have the chance to get the hacker enchant from it. Now this enchant is selling for a lot at the time of this video. Now what this enchant does is basically enables you to get two to three times the key drops when they drop from regular breakables. So basically for all of the top clans, this hacker enchant is gonna be worth a ton. So at the current moment, it seems like it is pretty rare from this hacker chest. There aren't that many in existence at the time of recording. As more and more of these hacker keys drop, I'm sure more of these enchants will come and the price will go down eventually. Now this basically just gives some more information on the hacker keys. So you do get a 10% buff with each of your friends online. So I still don't know why they do this with how broken the private servers still are. Big Games really needs to fix that or just like decide which way they want it to be. And then also something important to note, there's this new key area surge. So one of the five areas in the new hacker world can basically be area surge, which means that keys will drop two and a half times more from that area. So when you see that key area surge, if you are participating in the clan battle, it's definitely suggested that you go and farm in that area because two and a half times the key drops is pretty crazy. Definitely something to look out for. You guys definitely should be participating in this key area surge if you want to get the most clan keys for your battle as you can see in the description the hacker enchant says that each hacker key drop provides two to three keys so you're basically just getting two to three times the keys that you would have just normally and then of course the new global event requires you to get a bunch of these hacker keys so definitely an interesting thing so we already went over this clan battle but it's basically to collect the most hacker keys possible and obviously this is not a pay to win clan battle as you can't trade the keys so everybody that gets the keys has to get them from grinding so this is a very good clan battle in general it's sort of like the prison key battle that we saw a couple weeks ago but obviously we don't have that boss police chest that was in the police headquarters this time so it is going to be a bit of a different grind now i will have a video out later today on how to get the most hacker keys possible i'm going to do some thorough testing but i'm pretty sure i already have a setup in mind that we can use i just don't want to make this video too long with that so we'll make that a whole separate video if you guys are interested in that 
Now, moving on to one of the biggest parts of this update. Now, this is absolutely insane, guys. You have to pay attention here. This is what could really cause a massive deflation within the game. So if you look here, Big Games added more clan levels. Now, we did get leaks of this coming yesterday, right after I uploaded my leak video. So, so as you can see here, they say we've added clan levels 6 through 8 with even more perks. Now, here it lists off the perks. So at clan level 6, you get more mastery XP, which is pretty big. Clan level 7, you get pet walk speed, drop rate, extra diamonds. So this is absolutely insane right here. And then clan level 8, you get additional pet walk speed, more drop rate, and even more diamonds as well as some uh, increased officer slots in the clan. Now, these upgrades are absolutely crazy. This is going to change the game a lot. Now, what they don't tell you in these patch notes is that clan level 7 cost 5 billion diamonds and clan level 8 cost 75 billion. And yes, you guys, that is 75 billion with LB, 75 billion diamonds. I don't know what they were thinking. Now, personally, my clan came together to raise enough funds so that we could afford clan level seven, but I don't know who in their right mind is going to be able to afford clan level eight, except for the top pay to win clans that are in the game. Now, notably, just getting that 15% extra diamonds and 15% extra drop rate is pretty crazy. So this is definitely a good benefit that clans are going to want to have but i'm sure it's only going to be the very few top clans that are able to get it now i haven't seen anybody else's opinion on this but personally i would like to see big games maybe lower this a little bit even after the crazy amount of hours that i've put in the game i don't think my net worth is even 75 billion at this point but i do understand there is 75 of us in the clan if everybody donates a billion diamonds we should be able to afford it but i i don't know this just doesn't seem fair to a lot of the lower level clans and there was already such a gap with the high level clans compared to everybody else in the game so this is pretty much only going to further it and make them earn more diamonds and get more drops you guys are going to have to let me know what you think in the comment section down below but honestly i don't really know how to feel about this one so next up we have another big one we have the superior chest mastery now what the superior chest mastery does is basically gives you some additional chances for the superior chest to spawn starting at level 50 of superior chest mastery you get a five percent chance for superior chests to spawn so i assume these chances are only for naturally spawning superior chests i don't know if this plus five percent chance increases the amount that they spawn from the enchant itself and then on top of that we have superior chest loot boosts now i'm pretty sure these do increase the amount of loot that you get from the superior chest from the enchants now currently in the game there is a ton of people panic buying the superior chest because they think they're going to skyrocket past chest mimics for some reason. Now, this is just not the case. These superior chests were so bad. I honestly did a test this week with enchants because I'm looking to do another enchant tier list video. And my superior chest mimic enchant actually performed worse than the lucky block enchant. So even with a five times loot boost to these chests, I don't know if these will be any good at all. And personally to me, when I got Breakables Mastery level 99 and got the loot boost from those mini chests, I honestly didn't see that much more loot going into my inventory. So I assume it's going to be something like this. And I don't think this mastery is really going to change that much. As well as this, they didn't actually remove the superior chest mimic from the exclusive shop. So people can still buy it. And because of this mastery, I'm sure a ton more people just went ahead and bought so I'm sure there's a lot more of these in existence than there were before. So I doubt the price of this goes up at all. Well, I shouldn't say that. I'm sure there will be a lot more people that will buy the Superior Chest Mimic just because of this mastery. If I were you guys, I would not be investing in the Superior Chest Mimic at all. I assume the prices will bounce back to something similar to what they were before. It's just impossible for anything in the exclusive shop to reach such a price because people can just go ahead and buy it. And I'm sure there's a bunch of you YouTubers and stuff like that that are going ahead and buying this from the exclusive shop just so they can get a ton of diamonds right now so be very careful if you want to buy something like this now moving on I'm gonna move my face over here because we have this hacker pack that we should probably go over so of course we got a new forever pack based on the hacker theme so this one they actually say this pack is cheaper than usual with a max price of 2400 robux 
So I'm not sure if they nerfed the chances to get the Titanic or the Huges from this. Now that the max is 2400, you can definitely see the YouTube titles already spending 100,000 Robux. Oh my gosh. And once you see some of these other changes that they didn't include in this blog post, this might be the way that most people get their Huges in the game right now. But yeah, basically nothing too special in here. All you can get are the new Huges, the new exclusive egg, of course, and then the new hoverboard. So honestly, I'm not sure why they didn't put that new hacker enchant in here i would have thought they would include it just to encourage more people to buy it but it is going to be interesting to see how much more of these titanic rich cats are opened and now that the max price for this is only 2400 because that means everybody that spends a hundred thousand robux is basically going to be able to open a lot more of this pack and go even further all right, you guys, so there's so much to go over. Let's just keep moving on. We have the Blazing Exclusive Egg. Now, I showed this in the video yesterday as well, so nothing too surprising here. I'm not really a huge fan of the way these pets look. They kind of look a little simple to me, but honestly, I think they're better than the Bejeweled Egg, if anything. And look at this Titanic. <laughs> just the way it's bouncing is very funny to me. Now, at the end of this dev blog, we could see that they changed the summer huge chances to be less. Now, uh, this is not the only only thing that they nerfed in the games but we're gonna go over that in a second now honestly that was a lot that we just went over but we also have some other changes coming from some of the leakers in the game talking about the chances to get huges and other things like that i'll have on the screen here this tweet from copycat on twitter who basically leaked that they changed the odds for stuff like the regular keys that you open in all of the worlds so they changed the odds for the crystal chest and the tech chest and they made it five times harder to get all of the huges from those chests. Now, if you didn't know already, these huges that you get from the crystal and tech chest were actually some of the top two huges that were opened every single day in game. So because this has been changed, we are going to be getting a lot less huges being added to the game every single day which could drive the prices of huges in general up. Now, they also did nerf the chances of the huge from the void chest as well, but they didn't really nerf it that much. I'm pretty sure it used to be a 1 in 1600 chance, and now it's a 1 in 1900 chance. So any change like this is still pretty big, but they didn't nerf it as hard because comparatively, the tech chest and the crystal chest were nerfed by five times. Previously, the huge wizard Westy was a 1 in 3200 chance to get from the crystal chest and the cyber agony was a 1 in 1600 chance. So both of these got five times harder to get. So this will be very interesting to see. I'm guessing big games didn't want people to be opening so many huges. And honestly, I kind of understand this because we were getting an absolute ton of huges added to the game every single day. With the Wizard Westy alone, we had 150,000 of them opened in total. And then with the Cyber Agony, we had like 120 or something. So that is a lot of huges being added to the game on top of all of the free to play huges that we get in each of the updates. Now, I'll also have this tweet on the screen here from Kopi, which basically says that this new huge from the hacker chest is a 1 in 5,500 chance. So it definitely seems like it's going to be pretty hard to get this free to play huge. Now, obviously, if we compare this to the prison event, we don't have to go to each of the cells to open the chest. Now you can just open it kind of like the crystal chest or the tech chest. And you could pretty much AFK it very easily compared to those. Now, it does seem like the odds to get stuff from this chest are just as bad as those prison chests were because you usually get absolutely nothing. But obviously, you get the chance at either the rainbow, gold, or re regular version of this Haxor Axe a lot, as well as the hacker enchant. Kopi did say on Twitter actually that the hacker enchant is a 1 in 2200 chance get from this hacker chest so that is a pretty rare chance but we will have a lot of those enchants put into the game as more and more people get these keys as you can see right now i actually have the double hacker key drops enabled on this area that i'm in so that is really good as well now even though we did get a huge nerf to those huge chances we also got that huge price of the new clan upgrades 
So that's 75 billion plus the 5 billion for the upgrade before. A total of 80 billion diamonds coming from each of the top clans in the game. That's a lot of diamonds leaving the economy. So that right there could cause some deflation. Now, the way this causes deflation is because those clan members that want those diamonds are going to be selling off all of their stuff that they can so that they can get raw diamonds to donate to their clan. So we could see the prices of regular huges in general go down a lot as people try to sell their things and get diamonds to throw at that upgrade now obviously you guys i still yapped a lot in this video but honestly we're just gonna have to wait and see how the economy reacts to all of these changes i'm not sure how many clans are going to be spending that 75 billion diamonds to get that last upgrade and then on top of that this update it's going to be very hard to get any new huges in the game so all of this stuff is going to come together for people to determine whether or not they should start paying more or less for huges and other stuff in the game now if i were you guys i would definitely go ahead and try to sell my crystal keys and tech keys off as soon as possible because the fact that these got nerfed by five times People are definitely going to be opening them a lot less, and I'm sure the prices of those will go down. Now, at the moment, these are the only things that I know for sure have gotten nerfed because of Copycat on Twitter. But as the day goes on, he might be tweeting out more and more stuff. So I would definitely encourage you guys to go follow him on Twitter if you want the most up-to-date information on what kind of leaks are happening. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video, and peace out.